Hi, my name is Mark Troutman. I'm a litigation attorney with Isaac Brandt, Ledman and Teeter, and I'm doing a series of video blogs on public records law. Today's topic is emails and what you should consider as a public office when deciding whether to keep an email. Now, the main case covering this topic is the Ohio Supreme Court's 2009 decision in the State X Royal Toledo Blade v. Seneca County Commissioner's case. This case first observed that emails are indeed public records that public offices need to keep and track meticulously. The second holding uh, is that this case was the first to recognize the prima facie case theory, which essentially held that because of several gaps in the commissioner's emails, there was a prima facie case that emails had been destroyed outside the rigors of their records retention schedule. For instance, uh, we might have had emails uh, two and three a day for four or five days and then a gap of three or four weeks without emails. What the court ultimately said in thinking about the issues practically is uh, th one particular person is receiving emails uh, frequently enough for a few days so that they're public records. It would seem that they have to come up with some evidence to push back uh, as to whether uh, they indeed had destroyed uh, emails that were public records for the next several weeks. Uh, this was the first case to hold that, and uh, frankly, it uh, gives some risk for public offices because it's often hard to show why you destroyed a particular email, given that most public offices' records retention schedules allow the records to be destroyed without further approval from the historical society or auditor. So beyond the caveats we get from this case, what can a public office take from the state ex rel Toledo Blade v. Seneca County Commissioner's case? The first and most crucial thing that public offices can take is that they should maintain and organize emails and other electronic records very meticulously. They must do this in accordance with their records retention schedule. They should come up with an overall plan on how they're going to retain this, whether it be in paper copies or by some other technological means. Most records retention schedules describe things as non-records or transient records, these uh, public office won't have to come up with such a sophisticated plan because, frankly, they're going to be gone before the public office uh, has to worry about them too much. It's the uh, ones of moderate or significant administrative, historical, legal, or fiscal use that public offices need to be sure to track in a more sophisticated way. Public offices can be as easy as get a box, print an email, put it in the box, and when the box is full, go get another box. This will produce large volumes of paper files for you. Public offices may also use the drag and drop feature on most people's Microsoft Outlook, uh, where they could keep files for storage of emails according to their records retention schedule. And beyond that, the sky's the limit on how uh, your IT people can help you organize records. For more information on record storage, and uh, public records law with regard to emails and other technology, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Mark Troutman, and my phone number is 614-221-2121. Thank you.